Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm a CAM application specialist here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, we'll be talking about the multi-step hole feature. So when it comes to something like a multi-step hole, if we take a look at the one I have on screen here, it's really just a series of circular pockets or holes that are concentric to, to each other. Um, and you usually find this collection of features related to things like SAE ports or other specialized holes where there's multiple depths to it. Uh, now, those don't usually happen separately when you're talking about things like SAE ports. They all happen at the same time for the same feature. So rather than defining them individually in your AFR or manually, you can define them as one feature called a multi-step hole. Um, and in this way, it's very similar to when you define a threaded hole. If you take a look at this hole right here, I would do an AFR with this to find the hole, but then I would come in later and define it specifically as whatever tapped hole it is. So we're not looking for the individual feature itself. What we're looking for is a series of concentric holes, concentric um, circular pockets, and then we can right click on it afterwards and then choose whatever strategy is appropriate for that series of collected holes. Um, and the reason it's like that is because these are usually done in a certain order with certain tools. So you have the ability here to be very specific to that type of hole, that collection of those concentric items. And if we take a look in the parameters, it actually recognizes it as a series of cylinders, chamfers, and fillets. So regardless if they were circular pockets or holes, you will be defining them with these items as you see in the parameter window. These actually become the variables used in your strategy, in your TechDB, to define how to machine this. So let's take a look at the TechDB as well. So in our TechDB, we'll see in the central column here, normally we have features and operations for all the other features that we find inside of our part files, but multi-step holes have a separate category because of how you will actually program them. So if we start with a brand new multi-step hole strategy, We'll give it a name. So in this case, let's just give it a name of test. And the description, I'm gonna call this test as well, but with a little bit of an expansion here because the, the description will help you understand what the strategy is for. Because we're using multi-step holes for various unique styles of, of design, this could be for SAE ports, this could be for other sort of um, uh, ports for other items that will be as part of your design. So you can really detail this to the series of concentric cylindrical features that you're looking to machine. As soon as we start a brand new one, if we go to new, you'll see that the list here of uh, operations that you can add to the strategy are unique to just anything that is circular. So you'll find that multi-step hole is really just for circular pockets and holes. Let's start with just doing something like a rough mill. So in the rough mill uh, operation here on the right side, you'll see that the, the interface is again, very similar to what you've done when you do pockets or circular pockets in the features section. Here, we're not really doing anything other than just selecting what variables we'd like to grab from our multi-step hole. So in terms of anything calling out the diameter, we'll call out the diameter of the first cylinder, the first cylinder found on our multi-step hole. The depth will be the top of that first cylinder. That first cylinder, we probably want to go to the bottom of it. So we'll just say bottom. So again, I'm not calling out anything specific other than looking at the cylinder of that multi-step hole. And then we're just going to machine that. In terms of our expressions for tool selection, we can copy those over from our, uh, our, our other areas in the TechDB where we do tool selections for certain types of rough mill pockets. So we can just say something like, you know, times 40% and times 75% to the effect that we are now telling it how to choose the tool regardless of that first cylindrical pocket. Um, now that could be a copy of what you already have in your TechDB or that could just be something that's unique to this particular port that you're looking to machine. Again, you can very much detail this to the unique multi-step multi holes that you're, you're finding on your part. So let's take a look at the one I used on the part that we have on screen. If I jump to my strategy for that SAE port, you'll see that I have a series of rough mill and center drilling and drilling tool paths. In that first rough mill, I have called out the diameter of cylinder one. I'm telling it to go down to the bottom of the cylinder one. And in my tool selection, I'm actually specifically calling out um, a half inch end mill because that's what I would like to use on this particular port. 
If we jump down to the drill operations, I'm center drilling the the uh, the, the second chamfer because that will be the, the countersink of my tapped hole, but I'm still calling just cylinder two in some areas because you are controlling the heights from the various parts on that on that multi-step hole. So you have the ability to call different cylinders and different chamfers to uh, control the heights. If we see how this works on our part file, in one feature, I've generated all these operations. So again, the idea of using strategies inside of Camworks carries over as well. Rather than defining separate circular features and holes, we have one feature that generates a strategy of all these different operations. Now if I just click on each one of these, we can see that it is generating the operations like we would imagine. And in one go, we have the ability to program this series of operations, the series of circular pockets and holes using only one feature. Any questions on this or anything else, just give us a call at the main tech line found on our website. And please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.